Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout Podcast for the week of August 2nd, 2021. I'm Nicole Erdix and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. Every week we chat about the things parents are talking about, complaining about, and obsessing about right now. This week we are complaining about teamwork and obsessing about superstitions. <laughs> We're also taking a couple of breaks for an entertainment discussion and a recommendation roundup. Today we are talking about our college degrees and maybe our kids too, (laughs) depending on what they've done or end up doing. Yeah. So I, I was, I, this morning I had to go into LA for an appointment and so Mm -hmm. with traffic and whatnot, it was a couple hours it took and my husband came with me and, um, I was telling him that our daughter had switched majors recently Ooh. and he was like, oh, okay, well, you know, you know, she's got to do what she's got to do and figure uh-huh. it out. And, <laughs> and I was thinking, <laughs> man, that's not the message I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I was thinking, yeah, yeah, she does. And I guess when I think about um, her or even my son, uh-huh. um, in terms of influencing their degree or their career path. Mm-hmm. And the only, the only thing we wanted them to do really is go to university and <laughs> graduate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or college. We didn't care. Uh huh. Um, but, with, and that's a very different experience than what I had. So I was just wondering huh. what, and what happens in your households? Like, did you have this discussion? Like, what kind of conversations did you have with your kids as they were growing up? Like, what kinds mm-hmm. of, you know, because g- even like with my parents when I was growing up, there was just always the expectation that I'd go to university. Like, that wasn't even up for yeah discussion. But <clears throat> when I had decided that I was going to do my degree in Canadian history... Mm-hmm. That's when my parents stepped in. <laughs> <laughs> How about something that you can actually get a job in, honey? Yes, <laughs> which is it was a it was a good influence. It was a good intervention. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so, and I'm glad that they did that. Yeah. Uh, some parents might not have. Some parents would have yeah. just been like, "You go figure it out," right? Uh-huh. So what's kind of been your approach in your family with your kids? Uh-huh. Or any of you knew what your own yeah. experience? Let me see. I think I was always going to be an English major myself. If my dad had let me go to Berkeley like I wanted to, I might have been a journalism major there. But Santa Barbara was as far as I could go. And so Santa Barbara is where I went. And uh, I started out as an English major. But then at the time, I don't know if it's still there. They had something called the College of Creative Studies, which was kind of a holdover of from the 60s. And um, it was a very, my, my roommate went into that for math. They had like a math major in the College of Creative Studies, which was sort Uh-oh. of unusual. Uh, but they also had a literature major. And after like a year of being an English major, I decided to go into there. And it was really, really good for me because it was an extreme emphasis on writing. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if they even had tests in those classes. It was all um, papers and stuff like that. So I got a lot of writing and the the person who was in charge of it at the time, Marvin Mudrick, was uh, a very good writer. And I read some of his books and I was really inspired by him. And so it was just a really cool thing to be a part of. And I think really set me up well for what I would be doing in life, probably better than an English major. Although I still Mm. did take, you know, uh, classes in the English department as well and had some fun with those. When it came to my kids, I really wasn't expecting they would go to college at all. It wasn't a priority for me with them because they're getting them through, you know, Mm -hmm. 12 years of school was going to be enough of a struggle. But we have a super D duper college prep inclined school district. And the message was everybody goes to college. You know, they Mm -hmm. got rid of all the non- college track classes and you know even though you know my daughter could have taken you know special ed or resource room classes she was in inclusion enough that she got the message that going to college is something that everybody did and you had to do it so she was wanting to do it and I'm like well 
okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and she really, really wanted to be a paraprofessional and work in, in classrooms. So she went to junior college for, um, to get the degree that would mean you didn't have to take a test to be a paraprofessional. Mm -hmm. And so she was, it was, that was always, there was never any question that was what her major was going to be. She was, uh, you know, she, that's exactly what she did. And she had an extra year because she had to do some remedial work first. Um, but that's, you know, she went through, she got that degree. She worked in that for a little while, decided she didn't like it. And, uh, you know, now she's working at Wendy's and very happy. But mm -hmm. uh, when it came time for my son, I felt like, well, what the heck? Why doesn't he just go to community college too? And it'll put a little buffer between high school and when he has to get a job. Uh, but he, with him, there was no clear major. He didn't have any particular interests. And I was just sort of throwing darts at it, at the catalog, trying to figure out. He started out, he was a computer major, and then he switched to a horticulture major. And then that was a disaster. So he wound up at in uh, as a um, hotel and restaurant uh, hospitality major, mm -hmm. um, which he did work at a hotel for a little while. And now mm -hmm. he's... Uh, you know, working in the parking lot at Home Depot and very happy. So, <laughs> so they did have their college experience and they did pick majors most, in one case with my heavy influence and in the other case with her own influence. And eh, it was, it was a good investment of three years just to sort of give them a little extra time. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, yeah, I was kind of in charge of a lot of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Were your well, parents, did they influence what you decided to do? Uh, not only by saying, these are the colleges you can go to, and these are the colleges that are too far away. Mm -hmm. So, um, even Cal Poly, I might have had a journalism major, but uh, where I went, English major was where it was at, and, you know, and then the literature, and uh, that was cool. That was fine. They didn't care. They just wanted me to go to college. And it was always clear I was going to be a writer. So um, whatever I took for that was fine. Hmm. But That's, And it worked out. Because you are actually doing yeah. a job in that yeah. field. <laughs> I am amazingly doing exactly the job I went to college for. Yeah. So yay me. I know. <laughs> like... <laughs> How often does that happen? Yeah. Well, it happened for you too, right, Nicole? Because your parents steered you in the right direction? <laughs> they, they <laughs> did. <laughs> it, yeah, they, I, I much, I couldn't imagine what I would have been doing otherwise. Trust me. <laughs> Cause I, it, that was not definitely, definitely not my passion. I think that yeah. was just courses I did well in and I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> right. Um, well, that's important. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm glad that they stepped in. My, my dad stepped in and said, hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> hello, <laughs> what exactly yeah. are you going to do? So, yeah. How about you, Catherine? What's what's your experience there? Well, I, um, my parents were never really, um, they didn't have, like Terry's, you know, they were fine with me doing an English major, even though... Mm -hmm. You know, many people may have been like, uh, what are you going to do? The famously um, useless English major. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, my my parents are both in academia and my mom had the, my mom in particular had the belief that, you know, a strong liberal arts education is valuable. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if that means an English major or a history major or whatever it is, yeah. that's fine because the skills are very transferable. And mm -hmm. I also knew that I wanted to be in, you know, this field where first I worked as a magazine editor and now I do mm -hmm. um, writing and editing for websites. So yeah, so um, you sort of made use of it. I did. I definitely made use of it. And, but I, I also was a French major <laughs> that, <laughs> that I don't use too much. And, and that's too bad because I really enjoyed that. And, yeah. you know, if I could have, if I could snap my fingers and do it, I would love to translate from, oh. um, from the French to English. Mm -hmm. um, I think that would be you know, you have to be a, 
not only do you have to, you know, have a strong understanding of the language, but you have to, I think, be a good writer in, you know, the language that you're translating into yeah. mm-hmm, to do that job. So, but I, I think it's mostly the kind of thing where you have to be like an academic um, right. in order to get to do that. But I mean, I would do like your basic fiction and you know yeah. like I wouldn't have to it doesn't have to it wouldn't have to be like great works of literature but anyway right yeah um anyway my parents were always supportive um and uh-huh. they, they didn't try to steer me in any particular direction yeah. um and then with my kids you know they're still one is in college one is still in high school and and that one is still figuring out what he wants to do mm-hmm. um, so but whatever he Whatever he does, I'm I'm fine with it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, and my older one, um, again, you know, right now she's majoring in psychology, and I think that's one of those majors that you could go a lot of different ways with it. Uh huh. Um, mm-hmm. And she's already thinking that she probably wants to go to grad school and you know have the do the kind of work that would require at least a right. master's degree. So uh-huh. she's. Right. clear eyed, you know, that <laughs> the bachelor's degree may not be enough for what she right. wants yeah. to do. So wow. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, even even now with degrees that you can get and come out of school and get a job right away with, like teaching for example, mm-hmm. you, most people are getting their master's degrees in yeah. that. Right. Like it just doesn't seem to to really end. I mean Yeah. The, that's yeah. Kind of the and and there was a there was a period where my daughter was interested in teaching um, and, you know, I had some reservations just <laughs> because I know it's a really, really hard job and yeah. it, it doesn't pay well. And, you know, there's a lot of disrespect, you know, like mm-hmm. it's a hard thing to do. I, I don't think yeah. people would disagree. Um, right. And so I was a little like, oh, OK, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah. Um, and then she she took some education classes in high school and she she did a semester where she worked in a kindergarten classroom just for like an hour right. a day. Mm-hmm. Um, right. But, you know, it was enough <laughs> to, <laughs> to help her clarify her vision, let's say. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, that's good, though. I mean, that's and that was like that was something I was saying this conversation I was having earlier today was that I'm grateful that they've had the experiences that they've had because it's made them realize what they don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's valuable right? too. As much as we can say, try this or don't do that. Mm-hmm. They also have to rely on their own experiences. I mean, cause my dad just didn't throw out, Oh, you should be a teacher because uh-huh. it seemed like a good idea. I had actually worked with kids all of my, you know, youth and teenage years teaching lifeguarding lessons, babysitting. And so it was kind of like, Oh yeah, Mm -hmm. (laughs) that is something I enjoy. That is something I could do. So yeah, it's kind of just building off of what their, their, some of their strengths are. Yeah. Well, that's the ideal. Yeah. You know, as parents are these days, they're very concerned about what their kids are doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I often wonder, like, you know, what parents are thinking in terms of where they feel like their kids should be. Yeah, what they should be doing. Yeah, you want to let them pick, but you want to make sure that they pick what you think is appropriate for them to pick. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> as my dad did. Here are your choices. You can pick yeah. any one amidst this range of things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it wasn't wasn't majors, but location, but sort of the same thing. But it worked yeah. out super well because I did get into that uh, yeah. creative studies program, which set me up. None of us majored in podcasting. No, we no. didn't. I bet that is a major now, Could you though. Imagine. I bet there are kids who are <laughs> learning how to speak and how to strategize a podcast, and how to edit out all the background noise in a podcast, including my neighbors who are having a party right now. (laughs) So why don't we just say that's it for today's round one. Tune in tomorrow for our entertainment-themed round two, and later in the week to find out what we're complaining about, obsessing about, and recommending right now. 
We're always interested in what you have to say, so drop us a comment on our website, our Facebook page, or Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs>